Nobody told me I was going to say something. Uh -huh. like Stephanie knew, but I didn't know. Uh, well, it's wonderful and astounding all these days <laughs> to see all of you who love the adventures of Superman. You know, when we started it, no one knew what we were doing. <laughs> you won't really know that. But uh, we were uh, this town, uh, we're on the fringes of later, we're going to be in Burbank. Uh, in 1950, most of the studios closed down uh, the, with the rise of television, but it was live television. It was Milton Berle and uh, such, the Texaco Star Theater, that uh, changed everything, uh, the whole exhibition plans of the motion picture industry. And uh, at that point, uh, they realized there was a new challenge. This is the movie studios. And a lot of us, who were later in Superman, uh, had been at Warner Brothers as a uh, And I was on the kind of the Warner Brothers. Uh, Phyllis Coates had been at Warner Brothers. George had been at Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, Bob Shane had certainly been at Warner Brothers in a lot of things. But John Hamilton played every district attorney at <laughs> <laughs> Warner Brothers. And, uh, and so, um, all of us who were old vets at Warner Brothers, I was uh, a kid at the time, were astonished when Warner Brothers closed down because they were threatened by the hmm. rise of television. And we didn't know what television was. Hmm. Uh, there had been no, t no film television. And um, at that time at all, there was uh, live television. There was even one called Space Patrol, and, uh, which was live, uh, Channel 7. And I knew very well Space Patrol because when the studios closed down, none of us could get work. And uh, there was simply no work in town in the studios like there had been. Uh, the Fox stayed open and MGM stayed, uh, stayed open, kind of. But um, I did a, uh, a live uh, half-hour series with old Buck Buchanan. Thank you, Buchanan. Some of you may remember Buck. Yes. And we did a thing called Country Editor at ABC. And they were doing a live space patrol on another stage of NBC. So I saw that a lot of things were going on. And um, uh, the biggest thing going on when I did that, uh, somebody came on the set and said, do you want to see Charlie Chaplin direct down the street in El Centro? And I said, do I want to see? I was a big Chaplin fan. And so I said, certainly I want to see Charlie. Why is he directing? Is he doing a movie? No, his son was in a play down in Hollywood uh, at the Circle Playhouse, and he was directing the play with June Havoc, and so I went down with this guy who had been in Space Patrol <laughs> <laughs> and watched Chaplin, who was a great idol of mine. I mean, I was just stunned, and I realized <clears throat> that I could never work for Chaplin because uh, uh, though he was, I thought, the greatest of all stars, uh, his way of directing was to give his son and everyone else line readings <laughs> and do everything he chose. They, did, they were doing Rain, the Sadie Thompson thing, and he'd come and he did, uh, they would do something and he would show them exactly what they should do. Now do it, and uh -huh. I thought I could do that. I never, uh, I'd only worked with directors like Raul Walsh, who never gave any direction, and the only direction he ever gave me as a kid was he said, kid, the scene's on its ass. Pick up your lines. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was, and, uh, and, uh, and then in 51, because uh, I'd done live television, I wanted to get to New York where there was a lot of live television, and suddenly I was offered the first show, to my knowledge, ever actually filmed. Although I later was told they were doing Jackie Gleason, a show that never went on the air, Life with Riley with Jackie Gleason, down the street where we shot Superman. We shot it at, at the old RKO Pathode, the studios in uh, Culver City down the street from MGM. And so I was uh, suddenly offered uh, to play Jimmy in The Adventures of Superman. And I didn't know what it would be. Uh, I had never seen the serial. I was a big reader of the comic book. Uh, Superman had the first editions for 10 cents, which my mother threw away <laughs> 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 in the garage. And, uh, and so anyway, uh, Bob Maxwell, who was producing it, wanted to talk to me. And I went to the studio, and they said, we want you to play Jimmy. Uh, 
26 shows, and, uh, and Jimmy wasn't in the uh, comic books. Hmm. So I oh. wanted to find out Jimmy, I don't know what in the heck uh, they're talking about, but I did want to pick up the work and go to New York, where there was a lot of live television and theater. So uh, they said, we need you to make up your mind. They were going to shoot uh, Superman and the Moon Man, which Jimmy wasn't in, and then they were going to shoot 26 shows. So I said, I have to think about this. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. And, uh, and I went to Venice Beach down the street from where we were, and uh, Served for a bit, got a lot of tar on me. I remember. <laughs> oh. and, uh, and I thought, well, why not? I, 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 I want to work, I want to do television, but I don't know what film television is going to be. So I came back and said, I do Jimmy. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs>